GoPro is officially dead. They released in 2004, starting a new line of action cameras that was absolutely innovative to the consumer, allowing waterproof usage underwater with protective cages and various other mounting systems for cars, planes, anything you could think of, the camera had it all. And I think where they really took off is back when they released the GoPro Hero 2. This camera was an absolute workhorse and I love this thing to death. Took it in the water everywhere I went. Really clear imaging, very innovative for the time at such a small platform that you can mount it literally anywhere. Come all the way to 2014 and what has changed? Virtually nothing. It is so frustrating to see such a good camera platform absolutely not really take the leaps and bounds other platforms are making, such as Sony's innovative camera system to where they're actually introducing global shutter, stuff that's never been seen before, stuff like DJI, the Osmo Pocket 3. This innovative camera is just absolutely awesome. It does lack features like waterproof abilities and stuff like that, but compared to this going to something like this, the GoPro Hero 8, there's not really much difference besides obviously this can only shoot 1080, this can shoot 4K 60, and the new Hero 13 that's coming out today can shoot 5.3K, and it has amazing features like 400 frames per second and 720. But what do we need 400 frames per second for, GoPro? We want more innovative use. We want a camera system that's just like the old one where you absolutely had to get it. There was no wrong with it. It was the peak of its time, but now you're just doing the plan obsolescence thing. You just slap a pretty body on it, slap a heat sink on it. You have interchangeable lenses now for wide angles and macro lenses that you can buy with the kit. That was all leaked with the GoPro Hero 13. And you have a new battery size. So that's another frustrating thing that the buyers have to deal with. The Enduro batteries were great because they gave you more power, but the GoPros lately that I've been using often overheat when you shoot. And granted, I know that you don't need to shoot 5.3K all the time, but it's very nice to have to punch in and edits if you're say downscaling to 1080. But with the new thing, you could have hundreds of those batteries if you have a multiple camera system. But now that it's also called an Enduro battery, it's a different size. So if you have all those batteries, you're SOL. You have to buy the new battery platform for the new GoPro Hero 13. And I will say, not bashing on GoPro too much, I absolutely loved the platform. I think that this is one of the greatest inventions ever made. But I'm seriously just saying, GoPro, you should have stepped it up more. So instead of just griping on GoPro the whole time, I'm going to gladly make some suggestions from a videographer that I would like to see. First off, the overheating issue, which I don't know how this is happening yet, because this is actually be filming the night before, but it seems like they have a heat sink on the new version, so hopefully that dissipates a lot of the heat issues, giving you longer run time. Another thing that I would highly suggest that I've also seen other people comment on is we get it, it's an action camera, you just want it real quick, point and shoot wide, get everything, but give us some lens options. And I honestly don't mind, and I thought long and hard about this. Cameras like this are a godsend when they're so small, you can plop them on a car, a bicycle, you can plop them on a helmet, wherever you're going. But is it really that bad if you increased the size of the GoPro just slightly? Because one of the big issues is nighttime shooting. You need a bigger sensor and sadly from the leaks on this camera, which we will all find out today, um, I don't believe it has a one inch sensor. So that is a huge setback for people who want the crisper, brighter images at nighttime or just in general. Allowing more light to hit the sensor is never a bad thing. So you need to upgrade to the one inch sensor. Even the Osmo Pocket, which I know I talk a lot about, but I absolutely love this camera. This camera has a one inch sensor and I feel like the camera system's genuinely smaller than this. So they need to upgrade to that. 
And again, I personally wouldn't mind if the camera's a little bit bigger because look how much lens this takes up. The lens might bulge out a little bit more if you add like the super wide on it and stuff like that. But if you make it bigger, you can increase the sensor size and also add varying lenses. Yes, we like the wide angle look. Yes, the macro might be cool for close-ups, but what about a telephoto on a GoPro? The biggest issue I've ever had with clients telling me about this camera is the just wide angleness of it, bows out, makes people look weird. If you could have a small telephoto for this, it would be an absolute game changer. And again, not everybody has to use it. You keep the generic form factor of this so that it's very crisp and clean to use, but you can also use it as a small cinema camera. I know it's not gonna be groundbreaking, like the new cameras coming out, like the Black Magics or the Komodo Reds or the whatever, the Canon C400s. This isn't that market for that, but if you can make it just that slightly more cinematic for the average user, which I believe a lot of people who buy these cameras are the average consumer. Again, there are professionals, but if you give them that option to almost use it more like this Pocket 3 or almost like an iPhone where the iPhone actually has telephoto or more just like a 24, 35 millimeter lens to where this isn't as bowed out and you can make it more cinematic. And I'm gonna take this a step further even. If you made it say the size of a DSLR body, keeping in the same thickness, but the size of a DSLR body, and you did the attachable lenses for it. This camera system would still be very mountable in a lot of instances. Sure, it might be heavier for head mounts, but car mounts, which I know a lot of people use them for, plane mounts, boat mounts, surf mounts, whatever, same waterproof ability, all of that in the flat platform, but just bigger. You could have it even bigger than a one inch sensor. You can put way more features, more room for cooling, more room for higher tech gear inside of it, which just gives you the ability to really just boost beyond anything in the action camera industry. So I'm saying as a once fan of GoPro, I sadly am starting to steer away from the GoPros, but please listen to the audience. Again, today is the day the GoPro Hero 13 comes out. So We'll see ultimately what it has in store once people actually get their hands on it. But I think the wide consensus is this is almost an iPhone Android instance where every year it seems like you're getting the same thing for maybe a couple more dollars. And it's really nothing that your GoPro Hero 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, whatever it couldn't do. So please just try to make some leaps and bounds. Any camera company, I know this video is about GoPro, but any camera company, you see the co you see the competition, you can easily implement that stuff. And I just feel like it's time that we get into an innovation again with videography and camera creativity, because I definitely want to have that GoPro again that feels like my hero too, where I feel like the day I got it, I was just filming, creative, having a blast, where now I almost feel like it's a little bit of a nuisance to use, and it's almost like an e-camera now. It's not even my top four that I would use. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for future content. And please, if you have a GoPro, bury it underground because GoPro is dead.